Hello everyone, for this video, I'll be talking to you important lesson with regards to assessment. This is our baseline, okay? This is our reference for us to be able to assess our students. And these are the educational objectives that we have set in our lesson plan, okay? So as you can see in the PowerPoint presentation, there are actually three domains of educational objectives that we often present that we often present in the, in, the, in the lesson plan. We have the cognitive domain, the affective domain, and psychomotor domain. So we'll be talking these three one by one, okay? So let's start with the cognitive domain. Under this cognitive domain, there are six identified um, levels. The lowest level is the knowledge level while the highest level is the evaluation level okay so the the, the the cognitive the categories of the cognitive domain com is composed of the knowledge comprehension application analysis understanding and evaluation okay so these are the six important categories of our cognitive domain so under knowledge level, this is actually remembering previously learned, okay? Remembering facts, remembering um, dates, people, places, and among others. And this is the lowest level of learning outcomes in the cognitive domain. Now, if we want to write educational objectives under this level, we can use the following verbs, such as defines, Describes, identifies, labels, lists, matches, names, selects, states, and among others. So these are these are possible verbs that we can use when we want to state edu our educational objectives uh, falling under the knowledge level. So this will be our guide um, to identify that our objectives is really under knowledge level. It knows we we it knows common terms it knows specific facts it knows methods and procedures knows basic concepts and knows principles this is just a knowing okay knowing level so they uh, do they know these terms do they know these facts okay so this will under under knowledge level for the comprehension level this is actually the ability to grasp the meaning of terms it represents the lowest level of understanding it may lead or it may be shown by translating the term from one form to another and predicting consequence or, or, or possible effects and these are the possible words that we can use when we want to state our cognitive domain under comprehension level we can use converts defends distinguishes estimates explains extends generalizes, give examples, infers, paraphrases, predicts, rewrites, and summarizes, and among others. There are also other verbs that we can utilize or that we can use um, when we want to state our cognitive level under this comprehension level. Okay? And our guide for us to know whether or not these verbs is really falling under comprehension level is by simply um, understanding or um, yeah understanding whether or not this objective okay understand um, let you understand facts and principles let it will let you interpret verbal terms it will let you interpret charts and graph translate verbal terms to math formulas estimates consequences implied in data and justifies methods and and procedures so if you have this in your objective then that objective might be considered as a comprehension level okay nasa comprehension level lang siya under the third one which is the application this is the ability to use learned materials that's why from the word application we use the word apply Okay, so the ability now to use the learned materials in new and concrete situation. This may include applications of such things as rules, methods, concepts, 
principles, laws, and theories, and it requires a higher level of understanding than those under comprehension level. Okay? And these are the possible verbs that we can utilize when we are stating an application objective. We have changes, computes, demonstrates, discovers, manipulates, modifiers, operates, predicts, prepares, procedures, relates, shows, solves, uses, and among others. And for us to identify whether or not this objective is falling in, in, in an application level, please be guided with this. Okay? Um, if, we, if, if that objective lets you apply or let you apply principles to new situations, apply theories to practical situations, solve problems or mathematical problems, and demonstrates correct usage of a procedure, then that will be falling under, an up, or under this application level. And for the next one, the analysis level, this is the ability to break down materials into its component parts so that it is or, or its organizational structure may be understood. It includes identification of the parts and analysis of the relationship between parts and recognition of the organizational procedures involved. And these are the possible verbs that we can use when we want to state educational objectives under this level. We can use breakdown, diagrams, differentiates, discriminates, distinguishes, identifies, illustrates, infers, outlines, pin, point out, relates, selects, separates, subdivides, and among others. And for you to be able to identify that this objective is really falling under analysis level in the cognitive domain, we, will be, we should be able to, if this objective will let you recognize unstated assumptions, if it will let you recognize logical fallacies in reasoning, if this objective will let you distinguish between facts and inferences, or evaluate the relevancy of data, or analysis the organizational structure of a work, whether in music, art, and or writing. Okay? So this will be our guide for us to identify whether this objective is falling under the analysis level. For the next one, it is the synthesis level. This is the second to the last level. So this is the ability to put parts together to form a new whole, okay? Based from these concepts learned, we can be able to derive new, new word or new term, okay? So this is now synthesis from, we will try to differentiate, okay, these terms or these concepts to come up with this, okay? It involves production of a unique communication, whether theme or speech, a plan of operations, research proposals, or a set of abstract relations, okay? And these are the possible verbs that we can utilize when we want to state objectives under synthesis level in, in our cognitive domain. We can use categorizes, combines, complies, composes, creates, devises, designs, explains, generates, modifies, organizes, plans, rearranges, reconstructs, relates, recognizes, revises, rewrites, summarizes, tells, and writes, and among others. Okay? And for us to identify whether or not this objective is really falling under synthesis, we should be able to write a well-organized team, it let you give a well-organized speech, it will let you write a creative short story, it will let you propose a plan for an experiment, it will let you integrate learning from different areas into a plan for solving problem, or it will let you formulate a new scheme for classifying objects. So this will be our guide for us to know whether this objective is really falling under synthesis level. And for the last level, which is the highest level under cognitive domain, <clears throat> this will be the ability to judge the value of the material. Okay? 
learning outcomes in this area are highest in the cognitive hierarchy because they contain elements of all the other categories. And these are the possible verbs that we can utilize when we want to, um, to state our cognitive objective under this level, which is the evaluation. So we can use appraises, compares, concludes, contrasts, criticizes, discriminates, explains, justifies, interprets, relates, summarizes, and among others. Okay? So this will compose the different levels under the cognitive domain. Under the affective domain, we will be talking this when we will be doing attitudinal skills of measurement, when we will be doing um, affective domain or affective assessment, okay? Since our target only is to construct test instrument under cognitive domain. So we'll be talking further about this stage or about this domain when we will have um, assessment under affective domain, okay? However, um, these are the major categories of the affective domain. We can use receiving level, responding level, valuing level, organizing level, and the highest form or the highest level under affective is the characterization by a value or complex or value complex. Under psychomotor domain, these are also the levels, okay? There are actually seven levels under the psychomotor domain. Perception is the lowest, organization is the highest, okay? And this will compose the seven. We have perception, set, guided response, mechanisms, complex overt response, adaptation, and organization. So this will compose the three domains of our educational objectives, which we often review, okay, which we often review when we are constructing our test instrument. So for your activity, I want you to, um, to write objectives, okay, like this, okay, following, following the descriptions, okay, I want you to write a cognitive objective, okay, one cognitive objective that you want to assess, okay. Please think a possible topic, you write the topic, then you write now, uh, 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 below this topic, you will write your objective, okay, under cognitive domain only, because this will be our guide to be able to construct our test instrument under cognitive domain. So, I repeat, write the topic. Below this topic will be your objective under cognitive. Just choose one, okay? Choose one among the levels, among the levels. So, I hope you got it right. So, these are, these are the three important domains. These are, those are the verbs presented to you, okay, with regards to the levels, with respect to the levels of the, the cognitive domain. So, I hope... Um, you have learned something about this video clip presentation when it comes to educational goals and objectives. So, have a good day everyone. Thank you again for watching to my video clip presentation.